we're back. Um, let me pull up the question block question so we can get that one down. Um, wait a minute. Where'd it go? It's gone now. Oh, I actually remember it if uh, we just want to roll with it anyway. Yeah, then if you want to read it or to say it, I mean, then that'd be great because it's I mean, if he, disappeared. If he pulled it because he didn't want us to do it, then I can like not use his name. I can say it's like an anonymous question or something, but that I do might remember be, the question. So. Yeah, that might be best. Just say, here's a question from one of our patro- or, or from one of our Discord members or whatever. So Okay. okay. You're sure you're not seeing it in there? That's weird. Yeah, no, I'm I'm in our Discord and I went to Patreon um threat question the, lock. and it's empty. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll ask it anyway and we'll just do it uh, you know. Yeah. Anonymously. <laughs> Good deal. All right, well then, let me pull up a Lucas. And away we go. Oh wait, let me make a note in audacity so then I don't get sad when I'm editing this. Okay, and away we go. Infendo Radio is brought to you by people like you. If you want to be a producer, head over to patreon.com slash infendo radio and sign up at the $10 level. We'd really appreciate it. And we're back. So let's talk about this question that we got because we got a question from one of our fine discord members over on our discord channel and lucas but is gonna then they pulled it from the discord <laughs> channel and they didn't think we'd notice but we did um so we're not going to share the name of the person who asked the question just in case the reason they pulled it is they didn't like the question but we're still going to answer it because it's our show and we can do whatever we want so don't <laughs> um this question from this anonymous user was which video game characters are on your video game Mount Rushmore? That's right. I do remember that one, actually, because I was thinking about it. I saw it, and I was like, what a brilliant question! This man or woman deserves all of my praise! But, <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, obviously Mario, right? Like, yeah, it's got to be Mario. Uh, so, f- first question about this question. Is this all Nintendo characters? Um, well, I don't remember if the question specified Nintendo or not. I'm going with video game characters because I have some things to say. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, well, why don't, I'll let you go ahead and go first, and then, yeah, I'll tell you mine. So as we all know, Mount Rushmore is a, a four-president um, statue, at least currently. God willing, that won't change anytime soon. Um, and, yeah, Mario <laughs> has to be on the list, right? Literally, like, the founding father of modern gaming. Right. Um I would, I would argue, and Eugene, feel free to disagree with me on here, <laughs> but I would argue that Sonic also deserves a place on that list. He is an iconic, classic video game character that deserves, you know, recognition for being such. Sure. Um, I might argue, this is, this is going to come out of left field, but I would say that um, Crash Bandicoot might be my third. Um, wow. Kind of the... Kind That's of the mascot, well, kind of the mascot of PlayStation video games, right? The the founding father, if you will, of the PlayStation era. And I mm-hmm. think that era deserves some recognition for not only being the first era, or the first console, rather, to, to do CD gaming, but just also, I think, a, a, a system that introduced a lot of people to gaming that weren't, you know, Nintendo fanboys. Sure. And I guess given the theme that I'm doing, like normally I would say something like Link, right? For for like Legend of Zelda. But if I'm gonna keep it fair and kind of representative of everything, I guess the fourth spot would go to Master Chief, um, okay. who is kind of the iconic Xbox character in my opinion. Sure. Representative of that uh, subgenre of gaming. So I guess really what I'm saying is you've got Nintendo, you've got Sega, who obviously is no longer a console maker, but was a very big player back in the day. Mm-hmm. They were kind of the, the the Confederates, right, of of the Civil War. <laughs> they they very much lost. They no longer exist. But you know they were around for a while, and people don't want to let that go. So that's why they're Sega's, getting the statue. Yeah. So Sonic's on that statue, man. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then Crash Bandicoot for PlayStation and uh, Master Chief for Xbox. So interesting. I I. Okay, so my um, Mount Rushmore is going to go somewhat similar to yours for similar reasons because I also have Mario and Sonic on mine. 
Um, oh my, Eugene. Yeah, I know. I, I even this too. many years into our relationship, <laughs> you still find ways to surprise me. <laughs> but <laughs> I am going to deviate a little bit from your list because I feel that one of the characters that rightfully deserves to be on the Mount Rushmore list is Pikachu because I feel that Pokemon and we kind of already touched on this oh, earlier. Oh yeah. But Pokemon had such a a cultural impact on video games on like you know just everything you know like pokemon was just a phenomenon you know so i feel like for sure pikachu deserves to be on that mount rushmore if i could speak to that for a second i've watched sure. i've gone back and i've watched videos of like you know the pokemon craze of 97 or 98 or whatever when it was like every parent was like screw beanie babies i gotta get my son <laughs> up game boy you know um, people back then were saying, you know, it's just a phase. It will not last. It's like anything else. I think Pokemon has, and to a large degree, Pikachu has, has really, you know, cemented the idea for people that video, for better or worse, you know, look at where we are now, but <sighs> for better or worse, video gaming is its own kind of lifestyle, right? And Pokemon sure. was really the first example of that. So I, I support that. Yeah. I don't know what the question was, but uh, I walked into Pikachu on Mount Rushmore, so... Um... You're pretty close to the question. <laughs> we'll, we'll explain it to you after Eugene gives us his fourth. Yeah, yeah, so I guess to catch you up, Justin, we're doing um, our Mount Rushmores of video gaming. So uh, my Mount Rushmore has Mario, Sonic, and um, Pikachu, and... <laughs> <laughs> um, I like the Mario Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I I was struggling pretty hard with who I felt was deserving of the fourth spot on my Mount Rushmore, and I don't know why. It's not like this is like you know gonna go in the. This is important. This is going on the Infendo wiki. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, I feel that maybe the character that ought to be up there the most isn't even a character so i'm going to choose the t block from tetris actually and because i feel that tetris why not the z well because i like the t dog that's the best one <laughs> a tingle <laughs> I, I i feel like tetris maybe even more so than like you know your mario or your pikachu in pokemon has brought a generation of gamers into video gaming whether they like it or not right because like my um you know i have family members that won't play like mario but they will play like tetris or candy crush you know because they like those type of video games so i feel like tetris is kind of the you know the forefather of the puzzle type video game so yeah there respect you go. all right so let me think i've had less time to think about this than you guys have but Definitely Mario. I think we can all agree on that. Um, I don't. I don't know about Sonic. Not because I don't respect Sonic as a video game mascot, <laughs> but I don't think he was as groundbreaking for video games as you know he's sometimes treated as. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely Pac-Man, though, will have to be up there. Because I was Pac debating was between really... Pac-Man and Tetris, actually. Pac-Man was really kind of the first gaming mascot ever, so he sure. has to be up there. Um, Do you mock the square pixel that was adventure? <laughs> <laughs> um, I I want to put Link up there because I think The Legend of Zelda is also a very groundbreaking game. I hate to dominate Mount Rushmore with um, <laughs> with Nintendo characters, but let's face it. It's You're on a Nintendo games. podcast. And, yeah. and video games would not be where they are if it weren't for Nintendo. So we'll say Mario, Link, Pac-Man, and... See, I'm trying to think of a... Kit from Kid Icarus nailed it. All right, <laughs> moving on to our next question. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a character that, like, exemplifies modern 3d gaming the way mario does I would, like 2d gaming i would argue that um splatoon was kind of the founding of the new era of nintendo so that might be worth a mention in the form of like i don't know judge or something but yeah lucas went with uh master chief because and i feel that that guy might 
kind of encompass. That what was where I was leaning. Is. Was part yeah. was maybe Master Chief because yeah. like that was kind of bringing a whole new genre of gaming to consoles that so sure. never really worked before. We all kind of went with you know meaningful characters, but in very different ways, right? Right. Yeah. Well, Matt, the Mount Rushmore can only have four spots, so you know until the, yeah. un- until Trump puts his head as a fourth or a fifth, then I guess we'll. Leave no, he's going to be the fourth. He's just going to knock off that Lincoln guy. He never did anything important anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, but as always, welcome thank you to Infendo your... Political Radio. <laughs> thank you for your question in the question block. If you would like to ask your own, it used to be a Patreon exclusive, but it is now a free option that anyone can partake in. I don't think we say that enough on this show. Free. If you want to ask a question, just pop into our Discord. There is a question block channel. You should have access to it. And yeah, you can ask us whatever you want. So we've been asked much worse, believe me. <laughs> this is true. Please Go listen do to our not archives. make it your goal to ask us the worst questions. <laughs> <laughs> we also reserve the right not to answer any questions we find particularly offensive. So <laughs> please submit your questions. A hundred percent. Well, uh, thank you, everybody who made it this far. We appreciate you. Um, that's it. You made it to the end. Until next week. Uh, who won week, the game? We didn't play a game. <laughs> yeah, Eugene, no. edit that out. <laughs> uh, well, uh, see, Eugene had a chance to get a free point, or Lucas for that matter. So you know. Yeah, we just the only game we could think of playing was. It doesn't matter. We'll play after the show. <laughs> <laughs> but until next time, we are gonna get out of here, and we will see you on the other side. But before we go away, we wanna you know let you know where you can find us when we're not on the show. So Lucas, where can the people find you? You can find me at my website, which is chromaticue.com, C-H-R-O-M-A-T-I-C-H-U-E.com, forward slash, I regret naming my game something so long and hard to spell. Um, (laughs) Now I'm going to have to actually make that a URL, like a secret URL that accesses something. Um, Yeah, you can find me on there. Um, I don't really update it that much, but every now and then I do update my developer's blog, since that is where I post most of the info on the game I'm working on. I also have a YouTube channel that I have just been writing scripts for, but not recording because editing is so hard, guys. But if I ever get around to actually recording the videos I'm planning on making, I'm going to have a lot of content pumping out of there. So go subscribe to me at, well, it's not at, Lucas Peace on YouTube. Just type it into the search bar. I'm be the guy with the blue mustache and 116 subscribers. You'll know how to find me. Um, I also have a Twitter account, which is at Chromatic U. No, I'm not spelling that for you again. I just did that. And as I like <laughs> to mention often on this show, because we are slowly trying to steal all of the listeners from this show to our other show, which is why Steve hasn't been here for a month. Um, you can find me and my good friend Steven on our other podcast, Hyper Voice. It is a Pokemon podcast for people who want to get better at playing Pokemon, but are not competitive and don't know how to be, because we're not really that good at it either, but we'll teach everything we know. Mm-hmm. Come listen to that. Um, if there are any Hyper Voice listeners on this show, I do apologize. We did not do a show last week. I will release a statement on that on Twitter, but it's been a rough week for us, so we really needed a little more time to gather our thoughts. We will be back soon with an episode all about the Isle of Armor. Good all right, I got to skip out real quick. So um, follow me on Twitter at Infendo Justin. I also have a difficult to remember and spell website. It's utilidork.com, U T I L I D O R K. Um, and. Uh, yeah. Why? Because we like you. Hey, just splice <laughs> that in at the end, Eugene. Have a good night, everybody. Fair. If you want to follow me and everything that Infendo is doing, make sure that you go to at Infendo on Twitter. Follow at Infendo Eugene as well. And, you know, just go to Infendo.com. We already talked about that, but that's where you can go to our Discord. That's where you can find Steven's Discord. That's where you can do all the things. So Infendo.com is the place to be. I will um, also mention real quick that if you, um, actually two things, sorry, Eugene. Um, if you find this podcast way too long and hard to digest, Eugene has done a masterful job of slicing it down into bite-sized morsels that you can digest over on our YouTube 
YouTube channel. So search mm -hmm. for us on there and you can watch right at the start of the game or right at the start of, you know, wh whatever it is we're doing this week. So so right. go go check that out. And I would also like to remind everyone, um, in case you are not aware, because I don't think we mentioned this much on this show, um, but we are currently donating all of our Patreon subscriptions to the CDC Foundation, I believe is where we're donating it. Mm -hmm. Somewhere COVID related. Eugene handles all that. This is the grown-up <laughs> group. Um, but but yes, we are donating that stuff. Um, it is it is not much of a of an amount, but every bit helps. So if you've ever wanted to get whatever Patreon bonuses we offer, if you ever wanted to be like Brian and shout news at us in the middle of the show so we can read that like in the middle of, you know, our actual <laughs> recording, if, if you want to be that involved with us or just, you know, help the show out too, um, right now, 100% of that's going to a good cause. So there's never been a better time to join us on our Patreon, which is okay. patreon.com slash Nintendo Radio. And that's 100% true. Thank you for that, Lucas. Um, all right. Well, we are going to get out of here. I hope you guys get out and go vote. Do all of the things. If you're out there uh, protesting, being uh, an activist, thank you. We, you know, that's important right now. We need every voice, every vote counts, all that fun stuff. So go out and do your part. With that, I'll see you guys next week. Catch you all later on. Stay safe! Bye bye. Nice. Well, let I me figure know. I have to change stay inside because we're trying to get people to vote and protest. So, like, doesn't make sense anymore, right? Yeah. But I still don't want anybody to catch the COVID. Did you see how bad it's getting in Florida, man? Dude, was there, there like 2,000 cases oh, yesterday or something like that? It's been 2,000 cases like every day for the That's last week. scary, man. Because we suck at this. <laughs> we <laughs> suck at it. So It's yeah. scary. It, that's scary. Like I, I, and you know, New Mexico has nowhere near the population of Florida. So there's nowhere to compare in that. But like. Fuck. I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't leave my room if it was my parents. My parents went, and my mom and I went grocery shopping uh, last week and we bought like enough groceries for like a month because we're like we're yeah. not going out like. <laughs> yeah, no, we've started buying like an extra loaf of bread and freezing it type of thing, you know, like mm -hmm. anyways, um, Twitch. We love you. YouTube too. We love you as well because you know you're we're we're all on that platform as well again. So uh but we love we love we love Twitch more. If you'd like to like make us love uh, you yeah, more, it, watch yeah. us on YouTube. <laughs> it's true. I mean, yeah, I mean you gotta yeah, I'm sorry, but Twitch is just the a good looking girl. All right, well we will catch y'all later on. See y'all later.